Greetings, everyone. I just wanted to give a little bit more uh, explanation and clarity around how to get started with the SQL Experience project. So the first thing I want to point out is that in the uh, assignment file itself, if you scroll down past all of the instructions and all of the queries you're supposed to write, you'll find an entity relationship diagram that shows you all the entities in the database and the attributes and how everything is related, uh, followed by the logical schema and the physical schema that shows exactly how these tables were created in the database. So we have the table names, the names of all the attributes, the data types of the attributes, all of these uh, very helpful things. So for the moment, I'm going to do two examples using this band table and using this vendor table. So let's just imagine for a moment that the first question in the assignment was simply to show all records in the band table. So what we would do is come over to our SQL developer window, and I've already uh, connected to our Oracle instance in the Amazon AWS uh, cloud. And I'm going to come to this query builder area and I'm going to type select asterisk from ban semicolon and click this green play button. And you can see in the query result window, we have all of the records from the band table. Okay, so once I'm satisfied that this is the correct answer to problem one, I'm going to open up this assignment1.txt file that I downloaded from Blackboard. And you can see this file has a couple of lines at the top, and this is just setting some uh, output parameters that your script is going to use. I'm going to copy the query and paste it right here under 1. So I'm saying that this is my answer for problem 1. I'll save this file. And now for a moment, let's imagine that the second problem in the SQL assignment was to find all of our vendors where the vendor name starts with the letter A. So what I'm going to do here is select star from, you can start by just doing a select star from vendor. That'll show me the five vendors that are part of the, uh, or that are in this vendor table. And I can further refine this by saying something like where uh, then underscore name like a percent sign and hopefully we uh, can all agree that this is going to show us any vendors that the name or that then name starts with A. So we'll get error mark and Aztec. And we click on the play. Yep, those are the two we get. So now I'm satisfied that this is the answer for number two. So I'm going to copy and paste that over into my assignment1.txt file and I'm going to save it. And once you've answered all 15 questions, what you need to do to create the .lst file that you'll submit along with this assignment1.txt file is to select all and then copy and paste the entire thing into this query builder uh, area. So you'll have these four lines at the top, our answer for number one, our answer for number two, answers for three, four, five, and so on. And instead of just clicking this Run Statement button, click the Run Script button. When you click that, it's going to run the entire thing and have uh, all your SQL queries and the output in this window. Okay. At this point, you'll click on the Save button and then navigate to wherever you would like to save your output. And we're going to name it Assignment 1. Dot LST and you can just leave file type as all files because we don't have an LST option for our uh, output. So leave that as, uh, as all files, name the file assignment1.lst and click save. And then when you're ready to submit, these are the two files you're going to submit assignment1.txt, which has your SQL queries in it and then assignment1.lst and uh, depending on what programs you have installed on your computer this might open differently but you should be able to right click and say open with notepad and you'll see what's in this file are your SQL queries 
and the output, or SQL query and the output, right? And then ideally you would have SQL queries and outputs for all the rest of these as well. So those are the two files you will upload to Blackboard for the SQL experience project. Good luck, everybody.